I'm at the conveyor belt sushi here. This right here, Gen Key Sushi in Shibuya. And what happens? I place my order in this kiosk here, and there's basically um, a little train track here, or track here that the sushi comes. So I ordered some nigiri. Uh, I got myself some mancha, which you make right there, and you got the uh, green tea right there. And you got your chopsticks, and you just sit back and wait. And if you want to take some home. You can actually order some and take it home with you. Oh, it has arrived. Okay, don't yell at me. My sushi arrived and it arrived in a tray that was over here and I just picked it up. I'm gonna eat it now. See how it is? There it is. That's yours. Oh, you press that button over there and you send it back. And there it goes. All right, I'm gonna enjoy this. What'd you get? It looks good. This is interesting. Cuttlefish with mint. Cuttlefish with mint. I've never had it. Some kind of, it's not mint, some kind of, I'm not really sure what it is. No idea what it is, but some kind of mint like. I can't say I care too much for the for the cuttlefish. In this sushi, you can tell it's made by a bunch of people over there that are just slapping the fish right over the uh, rice. You can tell it's quick, but it's delicious. It's cheap. So guys, I'm about to order. I just ordered one right there. This one, uh, the minced tuna. Sushi rolls. I don't want sushi rolls. Come nigiri. This is what I want. The gong kong maki. See what they have. Salmon avocado. Uh-huh. Flounder fin. Minced tuna. Corn with mayo. No, I'm gonna skip that. Oh, row. Yes. I'll add one there. And they just added it. Seafood, more roe here, salmon roe, tuna with grated yam. See, I'm gonna try all this stuff. Well, let's see what's that. Oh, oh yeah, sea urchin and salmon roe, or two sea urchins. What do we do? You know what? Let's do this. We'll do that, and then we'll put order, and place your order, and now we just wait. Oh, my tuna just came in. Hiki Sushi uh, is also affiliated with uh, Uo Bay Sushi, it's the same company. Uh, it's another company, another restaurant that offers uh, Katen style sushi, basically this floating conveyor belt, uh, rotating sushi type thing. Uh, and these are the restaurants that are the cheapest uh, restaurants to eat sushi in Tokyo. And uh, here uh, you could try uh, many different things that you normally probably wouldn't try at a more expensive restaurant. Um, but I gotta tell you, the quality here is pretty good. This sea urchin that you're seeing right here in the row is delicious. I kept ordering the row and the sea urchin. There's something about the row and sea urchin in uh, Tokyo that's just delicious. Oh mm. Fried? No or The sea urchin. You have to. It's so good. I don't know what it is over there. But the sea urchin, like the sea urchin, it's like super buttery. Uh, they have a very, very extensive menu here at, um, at Ginki Sushi. Uh, as you can see, there's many uh, varieties of sushi to choose from. So it's really fun just trying different varieties and trying to see what you like. There's a premium, I'm going to get it there. Comes too. You got the octopus Thank you. Occasionally the waitress does come over and bring you your food. Look at that, 
um, that way it speeds things up but most of the orders that you get um, are on the floating tray look how, look how beautiful that looks this is a special plate right here you can tell by the colors and it's basically conger um, eel and amberjack I think it is Mm. That's money. Money, money, money. Guys, we just got some takoyaki. If you look at these things, they move by themselves. You think they're like some kind of, I don't know, insect or anything, but they're actually, they're actually bonito flakes. And inside these balls is octopus. They're called takoyaki. Are they nice and crispy? Oh, yeah. Alright, so this is my last piece of sushi for the night before I go on to greater adventures. Comes on the gold plate, which indicates a little bit more money, but this is sea urchin, and the sea urchin here is beyond good. I mean, even at this, uh, you know, it's a cafe about sushi, it's nothing special, but even at this restaurant, it's still really good. I can't wait to eat it.